thanks for watching. I'm um, doing a video on this look today. It was requested by one of my friends. Um, they just wanted to see my version of a black smoky eye. I've warmed it up a little bit with some um, browns and a little bit of orange and just with like a neutral pink lip. Um, if you want to learn how to do this, then stick around and just keep watching. Hey guys, so uh, today I'm starting with a little bit of Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek in the crease on an E30 Sigma brush. Then we're heading over and adding some creme brulee just in the same area. Windscreen wiper motions, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. With these looks, uh, we're just, in terms of a smoky eye, we're just blending and blending and blending. So I've added a little bit more of that creme brulee um, mixed in with a little bit of Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek to deepen that crease just a little bit more. Um, now I'm just adding a little bit of warmth, so a little bit more warmth. And this is Chickadee also by Makeup Geek and I'm just adding that along the top um, to sort of add a little bit more of a pop. So when we add a little bit more black then this will really sort of make that look pop a little bit more. Oh also I've used my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow wiz to do my brows today as well. We're adding in a little bit of Bitten also by Makeup Geek. This is a burgundy type shade and this is on a 217 MAC blending brush. Um, just again blending this through the crease a little bit lower down not going up as high as the rest of the shadows. We want to keep this concentrated in the crease. So now I'm taking my NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean I believe it is. Uh, we're just going to be popping this all over the lid just the mobile lid. Uh, we're just going to apply this and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger um, just until we sort of get to that crease line. I'm not bringing it anywhere above the crease. I have hooded eyes so if anything sort of sticky um, gets in that crease then it will transfer. So we're just trying to keep that nice and low. Then I'm cleaning off my finger because Lord knows I would have wiped that on my face somewhere. <laughs> All right, we're just taking a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to pick up some of um, some black eyeshadow. So this is a uh, another Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Corrupt. It's the blackest eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. It's just a matte black. Um, I'm just packing this all over the lid. Don't worry if it looks too messy at the moment. We will blend it out. So I'm just taking another small blending brush. This is one by Gorgeous Cosmetics. It's quite similar to the 217. It's just a little bit more dense, I would say. Um, and just picked up a little bit of that black, just the tiniest amount. And I'm just blending this um, edge out through the crease. Back and forth, back and forth. Windscreen wipe motions. And I'm just flicking it out on the outer corner just a little bit as well. Then I'm going back in with a little bit of Bitten on my 217 and just blending it out even more. The key to a smoky eye is blending. You want to blend until you cannot blend anymore. Your hand should hurt <laughs> by the end of doing your makeup and then you know you've accomplished something amazing. <laughs> so again in with the E40. This is just a clean one and I'm just blending it all in together. So we've got no harsh lines. Then I'm taking this strange looking brush, it's an Inglot one. I don't have the number with me at the moment, but I really like to use this one under my brows. I'm just using an Inglot eyeshadow as well in the shade number 30. Um, when I worked for Inglot, that was my favorite highlighting shade. It's just like a sheer um, opalescent gold sort of shade. And then I'm just cleaning up my mess. <laughs> so now I'm taking my uh, Too Faced Hangover RX primer. It smells like coconut. It's fantastic. It's really hydrating, uh, which is why I like it. Then I'm going in with my Bourjois Healthy Mix uh, foundation in the shade number 52. I love this um, foundation. It's really, really great and it's really affordable as well. I got mine from Priceline. Uh, this is my Flat Top Kabuki by Sigma and this is probably my favorite way to apply foundation. Uh, it just buffs really well into the skin. Then I'm using my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline in shade uh, the shade Vanilla. I'm just popping this under my eyes today just to conceal any redness or dark circles I've got going on. Oh, if you can see that bruise on my arm as well. My dog did that. She jumped on my arm. She's a big one. She's a German Shepherd. <laughs> and I bruise like a peach. <laughs> so we're just blending that under the eyes with my F86. Then taking my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium on a Real Techniques 
uh, face brush and just blending all of that in. Then taking my HD powder from Inglot, it's like a banana shade, and I'm using that to set the concealer under my eyes. I get really bad creasing under my eyes, but I also get quite oily under there, so my mascara has a tendency to run, and that stops it from running. So I'm just repeating all of those colours that we did on the lid underneath my eye, and applying black last under there, and then buffing it out with the other colours. Then I'm lining my tight line and my waterline with my Marc Jacobs Black Liner. It's just a little sample size I got in a beauty box and I love it. It's really, really great. I would probably get more shades. And for some reason my left eye always waters. It always ruins my makeup. <laughs> then I'm just applying my Maybelline Lash Sensational, I believe it is. Um, I love this mascara. It's a really great mascara as well. And then off camera, applying some lashes. <laughs> These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. And the glue is still drying, so that's why you can still see it a little bit. So now I'm going to <laughs> pull my eyelids apart, apparently, and apply MAC Vanilla Pigments to my inner corners. I love this pigment. It's a new one for me, but I love it for these warm looks. It's sort of got a uh, gold, warm sort of reflect to it, and it's fantastic. I do really enjoy that one. That's a Dallium Tools brush as well. So nice and small to get on those inner corners. Now I'm going to be taking my uh, bronzer. It's very, very light. It's from the Body Shop. It's really great for fair girls. I'm very fair. So um, it's not too warm and it's not too cool. So it looks really, really great um, when you're wanting to just do a, a very subtle contour. Contouring I don't think suits me so I don't generally do it on myself but I will do a little bit of bronzing just on the backs of the cheekbones um, and up on the sides of the forehead. Now I'm taking my latest favourite blush by Milani. Uh, it's called Rose D'Oro or something similar. <laughs> um, and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. I really love this blush. It's just, it's a really nice warm pink rosy sort of colour. And it's got a bit of a sheen to it as well. So it looks really, really good um, when you're wanting that glowy sort of dewy look. I will, however, be going in with highlighter. <laughs> this is Champagne Pop by Becca. It's my favourite highlighter. It's a beautiful champagne colour and it looks great on all skin tones. And I'm just taking that on a Zoeva highlighting brush. And I'm just going to apply that liberally all over my face. <laughs> and a little bit more. <laughs> Then I'm going to be applying Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lovely. This is a nice warm neutral pink. Uh, it's fantastic. These liquid lipsticks are great if you want a long lasting lip colour. Uh, once they set, they pretty much don't budge. You may find that they'll wear off um, on the inside of your lips first. Um, obviously if you're drinking and eating and things like that. But other than that, they're very, very long lasting. They're fantastic. Um, that pretty much brings us to the end of the tutorial, so thank you very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>